the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti delivers a great performance while keeping its price affordable enough for most people. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is based on the same architecture as the RTX 3080 and gives users a look at what the Ampere line will look like in the mid-range and budget segment of the GPU market. This isn't going to be a graphics card that will push Watch Dogs Legion with ray tracing to 4K, but it's definitely on its way to doing it at 1080p. With this graphics card, you get 8GB of the same GDDR6 memory found in the RTX 3070, paired with 38 Ampere streaming multiprocessors. With the RTX 3060 Tie, NVIDIA has managed to design the SM so that it has one of the data paths essentially capable of double the load, which is why the amount of SUDA cores has effectively doubled per SM with Ampere. The RT core is what is responsible for the ray tracing that everyone is talking about. The whole point is to relieve the heavy computing load that any type of tracing entails to be able to produce reproducible frames. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti also brings a wealth of features to the table. Esports players will love the NVIDIA Reflex, which aims to reduce system latency. And just like the rest of the Founders Edition in the Ampere line, NVIDIA has delivered some of the most beautiful graphics cards we have ever seen. And the best part? A modern and cooler is also efficient. Throughout our test kit, we noticed that the temperature reaches a maximum of 72 degrees Celsius, which is roughly the same temperature as the RTX 2060 Super, but while consuming 10% more energy. For the listed price, you can't beat this guy. Up next, check out the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, which quite rightly took the title of the best AMD graphics card that can be found on the market in 2021. Based on RDNA 2 architecture, AMD took a huge step forward with this model, both in terms of performance and support for ray tracing, lighting effects, and DirectX 12 Ultimate API. Thanks to the new architecture and all the improvements, the performance has been seriously improved. The device is almost twice as fast as its predecessor. There are dramatically large differences, which is why this card can deliver pretty high values of frame rate at lower resolutions, but also finally provides serious playable gameplay in 4K resolution. Another important improvement was achieved in the part regarding the quality of graphic details and support for DirectX 12 Ultimate. Yes, that means Radeon got ray tracing support thanks to the AMD RDNA 2 architecture. This provides support for a new generation of games that will practically enable almost cinematic quality of animation. To transfer such high lossless graphics quality to your monitor, the latest connection standards with increased data throughout must be used, which is why the Radeon RX 6800 XT uses an HDMI connection 2.1 specifications with VRR a variable screen refresh time. Computational clusters have been improved, ray accelerators have been introduced, and a completely new infinity cache. In addition to the ultimate performance, one of the goals was more efficient use of energy. 128 megabytes of optimized memory for caching data on the core processor itself achieves over three times better effective data transfer than when data is transferred in a classic way. Good stuff! A thumbs up from here. For all you epic gamers out there, we have especially singled out the MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio as the best gaming graphics card available on the market in 2021. An impressive graphics card with a more modern look and with more RGB. Its improved TRI, Froze or 2 cooler with a triple fan will give users better cooling performance, including lower support for holding the card. We're looking at the most powerful version of this model available, not only because of the large cooler with a triple fan, but also because it has the highest GPU overclocking. In practice, it reaches almost 2000 MHz. Also included in the mix is the Triple Torx Fan 4.0 fan system, all three with the same diameter of 90 millimeters. The fans are also aligned, which enhances the feeling of symmetry in the cooler that the previous generation lacked. These fans have a spiral design with 10 propellers connected two by two at their end. This is a way to concentrate the airflow through the cooler more and increase the static pressure on it. The chosen rotation system is a double ball bearing, which is quite common with this type of fan due to its great durability and quietness. Furthermore, they enable the achievement of a high rotation speed, which in this case will be from almost 3000 revolutions per minute to the maximum. The first thing we see when we remove the back panel of the MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio is a conductive silicone thermal pad that allows cooling of the condensers placed on the front of the VRM. After removing the four headers that allow the lighting and fans to be powered, 
we'll be able to see the cooler in all its splendor. What we see is a large double block configuration that holds together thanks to five nickel plated copper heat pipes. Looking at the first block in detail, it is the phase that captures heat from the chipset. For this, it uses a huge aluminum cold plate with a core of seven copper heat pipes in direct contact with it. The new GDR6 memory chips made from Micron are the fastest ever made. With a clock frequency of 9500 megahertz and a brutal throughput of 19 gigabytes per second, the MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio offers 10 gigabytes of capacity, 320-bit bus width thanks to 10 32-bit chips, and a total bandwidth of 760 gigabytes per second. Great stuff, highly recommended. Up next, check out the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition, aka the best 4K graphics card available on the market in 2021. We are looking at a top-notch device located between GeForce RTX 3080 and GeForce RTX 3090. Each GPC unit integrates faster machinery and two ROP partitions with eight units at each. This marks a significant improvement in Ampere, although it is not the only one, since NVIDIA has also used the arrival of this new architecture to change the configuration of the SM unit. The GPC also comes with six TPCs, each of which includes two SMs and a polymorph engine. The memory subsystem consists of 12 total 32-bit memory controllers each, leaving us with a 384-bit bus. Each controller has 512 kilobytes of L2 cache for a total of 6 megabytes of L2 cache. In the case of GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, the memory subsystem is monitored with a total of 12 gigabyte GDDR6X running at 19 gigahertz, which leaves us with a bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second, which is an impressive figure that, to a relatively small extent, would be impossible without resorting to very expensive and impractical HBM memory. The GeForce RTX 3080 Ti offers such good performance that it's capable of surpassing the RTX 2080 Ti, although the difference is greater in 4K resolution thanks to less CPU impact and greater reliance on GPU. 4K is easy for the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, even in such demanding games as Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. This one graphics card has enough power to move even games in 8K resolution, as long as we stay within reasonable limits when in terms of graphics memory consumption. The cooling system mounted on the GeForce RTX 3080 Type Founders Edition can maintain pretty good temperatures. In fact, we can say that it's practically at the same level as the GeForce RTX 3080 Founders Edition, despite the increase in power and consumption of this graphics card. If you can afford this beast, we say go for it. And finally, we present you the NVIDIA RTX 3070, which quite rightly took the title of the overall best graphics card that can be found in the market in 2021. This fella rocks everything multiple transistors, CUDA cores, RT cores, and computer units. This is NVIDIA's second generation RTX card, which comes with Samsung's new 8NM manufacturing process and major architecture improvements. This model also enjoys a new second generation RT core that's capable of doubling the computational power of triangular intersections compared to the previous generation. Furthermore, the possibility of hardware computation of widespread effects such as motion blur has been introduced. The Tensor Core is also entering its third generation by reducing the number of units available in the GPU, with its improvements in production process and architecture due to which this card achieves much higher performance, up to 30 to 40 percent compared to the previous generation models, all while maintaining a fair price. Among the differences, we see more than twice the number of CUDA units, along with an increase in classic rasterization and texture units. This means that in all game formats, even older ones with DirectX 9 engines, will see noticeable increases in performance from generation to generation. Finally, when it comes to connectors, these new models are completely standard, but they also have the most modern connectors. We can find three DisplayPort 1.4 connectors with support for 8K resolution at 60Hz with 10-bit HDR support and up to 4K at 120Hz with the same color capacity per channel. The 2GHz frequency is 250MHz more than NVIDIA has set for this GPU and is important to improve performance that we can maintain over time without the need to touch any voltage. Overall, this fellow offers top-level features, high durability, as well as great looks, all at the best possible price quality ratio. You wanted the best? Well, you got it. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.